actually have a 96 year history with vans and uh, delivering cargo, uh, purpose built vehicles, engineered to be cargo haulers. Um, and that really started in 1918. Uh, a couple months after we introduced the screen side van, we introduced a full panel side van. Uh, and again, this was purpose built to deliver goods and services uh, around the country. Uh, that concept continued to develop through the 1920s and 1930s. Uh, we were offering panel vans uh, for, in all different sizes, from half ton, three quarter ton, and one ton. Uh, we even offered one called a humpback, which was, it raised the roof of the vehicle another six inches to allow greater cargo and room for passengers. Um, in the 1940s, 1941, we introduced the route van, which many people would recognize as either a milk truck or an ice cream truck. We were uh, building those throughout the 1940s. So Dodge Truck Division was always on the cutting edge of bringing out the best improvements to the vehicles, uh, whether it be uh, heavier duty axles, heavy duty springs, increasing the cargo rating of these vans. In the 1950s, a whole new concept was introduced in the North American market, which was the compact van. Now, we didn't bring out our compact van until 1964, but when we did, it immediately became the most popular and really the best uh, vehicle in that market. Uh, we had the best capacity for cargo. We could carry the most passengers. It was ideally suited for conversions to camper vans. Uh, so we really owned that market for all of the 1960s. The van that's behind me is a 1967 Dodge A100. This is identical to the original ones that were brought out in 1964. Uh, they're brought out in two different versions of a van, a, a panel side like the one behind me, and a window van, which we actually called a wagon at that time. You know, they're kind of classics now. Uh, people are collecting them, looking for them. Uh, there's whole groups out there with the, with the wagon version, with the windows and the camper vans that get together as clubs, as groups, um, you know, to, to celebrate the A100's heritage. In early 1970s, 1971, as a matter of fact, we brought out the B-Series van, which was, again, another leap in technology in the van. They were bigger vans. They were available in B100, 200, 300 series, which was basically half, three-quarter, one-ton uh, series. You know, one interesting vehicle we put out in the 1970s was called the street van. And capitalizing on a lot of things that were going on, you could buy a van from the factory with mag wheels, um, you know, fancy graphics and paint on it, uh, shag carpet, and even the uh, the half moon window in the back. The vehicles kind of sold themselves. You could look at them and you could see that, you know, this big vehicle or this compact vehicle, it fits my needs. 